Hi, everybody. Welcome to What the Flick. Uh, this is our recap of episode eight of season four of Game of Thrones, The Mountain and the Viper, and oh my god, we just finished watching it. Okay, so now we always start with oh my god when it's Game of Thrones, that's why we love it. Let me rephrase that. Holy shit. Yeah. Right. Insane. Okay. Right? Now, so I was so looking forward to this, and I came in super pumped up. For anybody watching live, you saw how pumped up I, I came in, right? Like, you got emotional. No, no, no. And, and I wind my. And you look just, like tearing at the end. Yeah, no. <laughs> so at this, well, that leads to part of what I'm going to say. I'm, I actually, for the first time in Game of Thrones, am a little depressed. Like, they've wow. killed one too many p people. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Like, all the other kills were like, yeah, I don't know, wow, fuck shit, I didn't see that coming. And I swear to you that I thought that Oberyn, and by the way, and hence Tyrion, mm -hmm. is that they couldn't do that. I thought, I literally had a conversation, <laughs> I literally had a conversation with myself thinking, that's a bridge too far. Even in Game of Thrones, Oberyn <laughs> cannot lose, okay? Like, even within the scope of Game of Thrones, when anything can happen, yeah. this, ca this cannot pass. Mm -hmm. This yeah. cannot come to pass. So I was not just shocked, I was mortified. But that's right? the magic what, of Game mind of Thrones. Blown, like, well, like, like quite literally. <laughs> and I and I wore I wear this shirt, you know, we do the plug, it's a sponsor, likes head stuff. But it's the House of Lannister, right? And that seems weird. The Lannisters are the bad guys. Although Castle Rock is the best name for the for any of the fortresses and stuff. <laughs> but but I wore it for Tyrion. Mm -hmm. I mean, look, you never know, it's Game of Thrones, maybe he won't die. But they just said to kill him, yeah. so it looks like your favorite character, bye-bye. Jesus, who else is left? I know. Well, I think that's the great thing about Game of Thrones. It's always what you least expect. And I think the way that that episode went down totally fed into what you believed, right? It's like a roller coaster of emotions. You think that he's going to do it. He's going to kill that guy. He's big. He's on the ground. He, like, sliced his leg. And then, boom, he got a little too cocky, showboating a little too much. Mm -hmm. And that's it. It's over. Yeah. No, see, like, I he's know that. through the body. Like, his spear yeah. was through know, his body. I know. Right. So, him strung him and then stabbed him in the gut and it's like no 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 I need I need more from you and he should have stopped oh. so they did a by the way g great job by the the director etc of building that scene perfectly right because like I always thought like it was like oh you nobody can beat the mountain I was like what's the big deal he's big so then you're fast and that's how you beat him right everybody every advantage has a disadvantage right you just got to know how to fight and it's obvious that that guy's not that cocky Oberyn without having some aces up his sleeve. Yeah. So he comes in with the was he did, whoa, <laughs> all right. And I'm like, okay, right, right, yeah. that's what I figured. And then as he's prancing around, walking around, like, I don't know if it was a, a half a second or two and a half seconds before the music changed. Not before he got clipped, but the music changed yeah. so you knew that he was fucked, right? I was like, Dude, man, you're walking around the ring too much. Yeah. This Didn't is, you hear the yeah. music change? That's yeah, have you never watched professional wrestling? <laughs> like, you're going around the ring too much, doing this too much, and I see the dude getting up behind you. Yeah. I know it. I'm seeing picked it. up a chair. And it's ironic because <laughs> I've seen this movie before, right? I'm like, damn it. Anyone who's overconfident in life, and that's why, you know, it's partly why we love Game of Thrones too, not just the surprises, but the truth behind it. If you're overconfident, you're gonna one day go, what's sick to the mountain clips you? Yeah. Uh, like, hey man, sometimes the viper goes to the mountain and sometimes the mountain <laughs> goes to the viper. Right. Mm -hmm. And I, you guys got all squeamish about the, the death. I could not watch that show. That was a rough death. No, you know what? I, I must be like, I must be a bad guy. You didn't turn away at all? No, not at all. And I don't even I don't mind know, it. I thought thumbs, that was a badass death. The mountain's death. thumbs and his eyes just like squishing him and then he'd crush He's his screaming. skull. He was yeah. screaming. I could, and then I could you take the, that. Just the wide shot of his head destroyed. This and was you a particularly think gory episode. Yes. yes. So oh. I think, from the beginning. From the very beginning. After maybe the Talisa stomach stabbing, which I think is the single hardest to watch shot that they've ever done. Other than that, I think this is the second worst. Like, mm -hmm. especially when he comes into a show with a lot of great characters and instantly becomes one of the greatest characters in the show's history. So cocky, so full of himself. And then to see it ended that way with his paramour watching from the sidelines, seeing the reaction of Tyrion. I knew it was coming, obviously, and it was very, it was very true to the books how it happened. 
but that was hard to watch. Yeah. So I, I even to the point, I'll tell you when I got depressed, okay. When Mountain got him, I was like, okay, 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 I know. I like, because I sensed it like a second and a half before it happened. But I'm like, give me one more twist. Give me one more twist. <laughs> and then, Another twist. because it could happen, like, oh, he pulls his knife. Washington, Washington, yeah. Washington. Right? Tyrion runs it, kicks him. Right. <laughs> but, but when he pressed in his eyes, I was like, it's oh, over. Shit, it's over. It's There's over. no. When he, when he punched him, you saw the blood. You heard his teeth you hitting. Saw the teeth. The, yeah. Oh wow. His I didn't mouth. See that. I, I think yeah. they described it as he turned his teeth into splinters in the book or something like that. It was because it's a mailed fist. It's metal. He's hitting him with. Right. Right. And he's like putting metal into his eyes. This show's all about disappointment. If there's a character, <laughs> if there's a character you absolutely love, they're going to die. Okay, D-I-E die. There's no question about it. <laughs> but I mean, in the beginning of the episode, or I should say midway through the episode, there were some delightful surprises, right? Mm -hmm. So Sansa, her coming of age, she had her quinceanera. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great line. Yeah. So at the end, it seemed like she was almost wearing um, a, a Night's Watch outfit. It seemed really black like and it had, it had some feathers to the point where I thought, is this the movie Swan? You Black know? Swan. Yeah, Black yeah. Swan. That's what it was, right? right? Isn't there an outfit almost like uh, that? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, she's certainly dressing for the, like, all right, I'm going to vamp it up. All right, I'm mm. playing the, I'm, you know, you wonder if she's dressing like that. Is she trying to play uh, Peter Baelish? Like, I think she is. Yeah, but that right? would be like, a mistake. That, but, <laughs> not, but not necessarily, right? Like, she's onto him. I, I interpreted the, the conversation they had after she backs him up in court, you know, to, the, to that kind of council that's deciding what they're going to do with Baelish. When they have that private conversation in her room and, and she says something like, or he says, how do you know what I want? And she doesn't even say. She just kind of looks at him and you're like, she yeah, understands. she knows. It's just she like missing day. They know what that look means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess her play now that we're talking it through is that, um, hey, this guy's super powerful and super smart and gets a lot of stuff done. Uh, I'm, uh, you know, better off under his wing, but the one thing he wants is what I got, you know? And so that if I use that to its maximum effect, maybe I get a lot of what I want, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So that's smart, and certainly the smartest Sansa's ever been. Yeah. But in the end, Lord Baelish is only 300 times smarter than Sansa. Yeah. So I let's see how that plays it. Like that scene, but this is another one of the scenes that's quite it's quite different than the books, just in general terms. Right. But like her speech to them, like first of all, she acted, I think, the shit out of it. Like she yes. did a good job. Yep. We right. haven't seen her have a lot of acting challenges in the show so far, other than some of the stuff with, with Joffrey. Um, but yeah, very impressively acted and perfect manipulation. Like she's obviously been learning from his lessons. Like the look yep. she gives him at the end there was great. And it, going well, back to the whole roller coaster thing, I mean, it starts off with you thinking that she's going to fold, she's going to reveal too much, and Baelish is going to die. But, you know, it starts off that way, and then you realize, oh my God, this is a carefully crafted testimony, and it's awesome. So it, I totally go back to all the commentary I did about Sansa in the past, and I'm like, I guess I was kind of wrong. She's a little smarter than I thought. Well, and the thing yeah. is, you know, Baelish has gone on and on about how he doesn't have any friends like him. Right? Mm -hmm. Baelish likes to think he's the smartest one in the room. And I think that there's a big blind spot where Sansa is concerned. Because Sansa, you know, they've talked about how she looks just like her mother did at that age. And, he, and her mother is the only one that Baelish ever really loved. And he's totally vulnerable to being played by her. Well, even Absolutely. more attractive than she ever was. Even more attractive. Said. And here's the thing like, I don't think that the way they're portraying this character, especially on the show, makes him, I don't think that he, that Baelish has any awareness that Sansa would be capable of playing him. Mm -hmm. Like, I think he's got her pegged as this kind of dopey right. girl that, oh, maybe she's starting to play her role a little bit, but that she would have the even audacity to play him. Mm -hmm. I think he's got a blind spot with her. Mm. So, uh, look, um, he does. Uh, and every guy has a soft spot, and that's their hard spot. And, and what we've seen in this <laughs> show <laughs> and in this series... <laughs> but here's the thing. <laughs> but what we've seen in the show and in this series, everybody's got 
a weakness. Everybody, right. nobody is invulnerable, right? right? Yeah. And it's just a matter, I mean, look at Ramsey Snow. Ramsey Snow's weakness is that his, he wanted more than anything to have his father acknowledge him. Right. And he will put himself out there and take risks that he wouldn't otherwise, because that's what he wants out of his father. And he's gonna do anything it takes to stay in his father's good graces, yeah. right? right? Even a guy like Ramsey Snow has that vulnerability. Everybody does in this show. Yeah. And Baelish is but, not invulnerable. You know, so I hear you on that, just one quick thought. It's funny because in that scene where he gets his name and he's now Ramsey Bolton, it, I thought, it's funny, here's Prime Evil, and even Prime Evil wants the approval of his dad. Yeah. Right. Like you, I don't know if it's just a son thing or if, if it's all kids, but no matter what, you always need the approval of your dad. And this guy who is so like almighty in other ways, like conniving, smart, yada yada, all this stuff, when it comes to his dad, he's like, oh, he's like a little puppy. He's like, oh, are you gonna give me a name? Are you gonna give me a name? Yeah. Yeah. So, so really fast about the Sansa thing. Like, we understand her strategy, but she could have gone a different way. She could have thrown herself at the mercy of the Lords of the Vale and everything. Do you think, long term, she made the right choice? Like, she's always going to be in some amount of danger being surrounded by uh, Littlefinger and his, you know, machinations and everything. Like, she could have abandoned him at that point. Yeah, here's my thoughts on that, if I'm Sansa. I, I think, hey, listen, you know, I've done a good job of protecting, right? Uh, <laughs> like, almost with the imp, but we, we even got past that, right? Uh, and this Baelish guy has been on me like, like white on rice the whole time, right? Uh, but here's the reality. If I want to keep my head, I'm going to have to give up this, okay? So... If it comes to it, Baelish is going to take me. I'm going to tease him, I'm going to tease him, I'm going to try to get everything I want. But apparently this is my fate in life, and, and it is what it is. Because without him, man, I'm on my own, and I don't, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, and then what is close. Mm -hmm. Arya is close. She doesn't know that. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't know that. And also, what is her other option? Well, I mean, possibly going to Lords Royce and Waynewood and stuff and saying, I'm Sansa Stark, this guy is crazy, he killed Joffrey, he killed your, your, you know, mm -hmm. your lady. Take me in. I don't know. Set me back up in the north somehow. Something like that. Well, well they know. could send them to the Boltons. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Ooh. No. yeah. No, I think she did it right. I me mean, too. acknowledging that sad day for me. It turns yeah. out I'm Baelish's chick. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, the, the, so she's mostly safe physically. The biggest threat right now is to her moon door. Yeah. He no. By the way, the, 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 <laughs> the ire or to her moon door. <laughs> That's the way Baelish likes it. <laughs> uh, by the way, I, if I was any of them, I'd be like, I gotta get out of this Iron Man. Like, that moon door freaks me out. Right? Like, Close the crushing it. of the Close head it. doesn't fl flip me out. I just keep thinking somebody could accidentally open it, and then, like, you trip, like, whoa, yeah. take it off. No, no. I'd rather fall, though, than the, the fingers. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's uh, not for me. I'd rather have a fighting chance. <laughs> <laughs> I could take them out. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so with, with Bolton, what I would have been worried about is you hand over the thing saying, oh, you're now my heir. And he's like, oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. That would have, the last guy I'd want to make heir is Ramsey Snow. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, hey, uh, Bolton. Sorry, Bolton now. Yeah. So, okay, uh, the other things that were in the show. Um, well, yeah, starting out Molestown. with the attack on Molestown. Right, mm -hmm. so uh, Town is gone. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yet, like, the, like, Everyone else in the show has died, but that crazy wildling girl still survives. Yeah. Like, yeah I mean, she's the like one Ed's person point. who survives? Like, when they're all worried about her being dead, Ed's like, look, like, she's made it out from, she survived Craster, mm -hmm. she survived the White Walker, she survived everything. Right. She's probably yeah. okay. No, yeah. no, that was the best <laughs> argument ever made on Game of Thrones or any yeah. show. I was like, oh, Is it pretty the best convincing. argument, though? Because I would argue that it's mostly based on luck, not strategy or intelligence or anything like that. Everybody in the show has survived some things. A lot of them die, though. I, yeah. A lot of them do die, but I feel like the people that do survive usually have some sort of strategy in place. Well, right. she, and she's know? just lucky that apparently Ygritte has some limit to her crazed bloodlust right does. now. She does. I feel like she's a softy. She's like a little cream puff. You saw her murder like six no, people No, no, I know, I know. She I know. No, she's she's a crazy whore. <laughs> I mean, that's not fair. That's no, what she's uh, like, paid to do. She fell in love with Jon Snow. Let's keep it real. She's not that much of a badass. She still has a soft spot, okay? Yeah, and then, yeah. To be fair, yeah. he did that yeah, great thing he does with his tongue. That's right. Right? Wait, and are you saying you can't be a badass and find love? Well, <gasps> yeah, oh. yeah, that's true. Interesting, that's true. interesting. But okay. I'm just saying she has like a little more, 
I don't know, complexity to her personality. So she's not as cold-hearted as, as some would think. She, okay, great. Now you've convinced me she's about to die any second. <laughs> because Probably anyone will. who at, like cares about another person for like half a second, a little bit. die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it looks like the next episode's gonna be pretty heavily up there, the war. They finally, right. the, the, the right. Wilding Army gets there. Uh, I'm sure Steve O's gonna be really excited about that since he doesn't give, give a fuck about what happens north of the wall ever. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, I understand Steve's point just because, like, they're gonna lose, <laughs> okay, uh, for everybody at the wall. Uh, and my guess is that Jon Snow is gonna make it out and he's gonna run. The only question is whether Tubby makes it out with him or not, mm. or he gets Poor a treatment. Oh, he survived okay. the White Walker, he survived the Long March. I know, no, 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 <laughs> he might, he might yet, okay, so. The Tubby's the real question at hand. But I think, of course, Jon Snow's gonna make it out. Except maybe his skull gets crushed. Because it's Game of Thrones. Yeah. They're like, oh, there's one remaining character you like. You like him. <laughs> <laughs> so who knows? Maybe he dies next week. Well, so obviously we also had what was happening at Marine. Yeah, with Daenerys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was sad. Nice. That was sad. That was sad. He shouldn't have spied on her, though. Sorry. Oh, look yeah, at this But one. then he did so much for her. <laughs> no, you, no. They don't earn no, no. anything? Look, I think, I think that that probably was a bad move because he was obviously in love with her, obviously super loyal to her. Um, but I don't know. Well, but how's she ever going to trust him? Yeah, that's right. I mean, no, no. She was, I he think was she paid to spy him. on her. You guys are totally wrong. If he wanted to kill her, he could have already killed her so A many times. A million times. times. But why yeah. didn't he come clean a long time ago? Well, because, for the same like, reason in those high school I'm movies, you don't say the, that you were only going out with her for a bet because it always goes right, bad. Right, but here's the thing: it. like you got to think of her trying to make the right decision as a as as a ruler, right? If you find out that your right hand man started out as someone spying on you right. to the guy that's responsible for your father's death and took your throne, even if it's been three or four years and he's proved himself, you're going to have that doubt. So. Yeah. What are you going to do? Like it goes no, no, beyond honestly, the doubt too. The I think that she might be worried about looking weak as well, right? Yeah. That's the other problem. Yeah. So totally I think disagree. that like the only thing she could have <laughs> done, I mean, a lot of I mean, think about it. Ramsey Snow would have had him skinned alive, yeah. right? Letting her go, it's like the only thing she could do for him. Yeah. Here's what I would have done immediately. I pardon you. Okay, and, oh. you, and come right back up here. You in the back the next show, yeah, and your no, head gets crushed. No, 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 <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm not naive. He, here, here's why. Okay, so, yeah, he spied on you. Okay, that's the most like if you know how this game is played, that's the most normal thing in the world. Okay, that isn't the question. The question is, what did he do in crunch time? In crunch time, he saved her life he and didn't let her uh, drink the poison, and he was super loyal to her and. When they send you the note of his pardon, they want you to fire him. Yeah. They want you to kill him. They want you to send him away. Don't play into their game. It's like, oh, hello, <laughs> rookie. No, no, I would have definitely kept him. He's the most loyal person to her, and you can tell that. I mean, you really can. And she's just being you know, heard about it <laughs> for no reason. Not no reason, for good reason. But you gotta get beyond that. You gotta get beyond that. If he was still betraying her, they wouldn't have given him up. Quick like, question yes, though, really quick question. That's a great point. Okay, so when he was spying on her, he's the person who gave the information that led to the attack on her and called Drogo, right? Well, yes. They knew yeah. where she was, Yeah, I mean, was, she, lost, she lost her baby as a result of that. No, 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 no. The, the crazy wine. witch yeah. was, that was independent. Oh, right, sorry, right, sorry, sorry. Right. Cal Drogo was just yeah. raping and pillaging However, across. To be, okay, never to mind, be sorry. clear, there would have been more attempts on her life, right? The only reason those attempts stopped is because Cal Drogo and the babies got killed. Okay. Right? With no yeah, heirs, like, right. the Baratheons would have, Robert Baratheon would have continued to send assassins. Absolutely. He, he died shortly after He died that. shortly after, but absolutely he would have sent those. I mean, I, I totally disagree with you. She, you can't have someone in your inner circle who was spying on you. Mm -hmm. Like, you just can't. Then you can't right? have virus on your... Yes. Small so, council, I guess. No, no. Like, no, yeah, that's you, a terrible mistake, too. Yeah, Honestly, I don't think so. That's, a ter that's also a They should have gotten rid of Viserys. I mean, they Varys. should Viserys as well. No, I, I did. Look, it turns out they should have gotten rid of Lord Baelish. Okay, so <laughs> you got to make the right judgment yeah. calls, but Varys is an incredibly important tool. You can use him as a tool or as a weapon, right? <laughs> okay, but. All right, uh, wait, but so, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you think Varys doesn't have his own agenda? But that's what I'm trying to tell you guys, which is that, of course, 
course, everyone has their own agenda. You have to take that as a granted. Like you can't walk around the lily fields with like, oh, they love me and they and no one else has any agenda but me. And then it turns out, what? So, oh, they have an agenda. Of course, of course they have an agenda. So now given that, why are you helping Tywin Lannister See, with think, his agenda? I think you're and totally, why would he send the note you're totally if he didn't think, about I don't have this guy? I understand that, but, but here's the thing. If six months down the line, something happens with Jorah where he's betrayed her, uh -huh. right? Then it's like, well, well, you knew that he was betraying you once. Why'd you keep him around? Okay, well, Clearly what difference does it make? You'd be dead then. You surround yourself by soldiers. You don't know if they might turn on you. All of the rest, I mean, Barristan Selmy fought... Yeah. It protected the, the king that was trying to get. Yeah, like, how he do you know about it? Salmi's not a, a spy. Now we know he's not a spy, given what happened. But she doesn't know. I would think mm -hmm. Barristan Selmi's more likely to be a spy at this point mm -hmm. than Jorah is. Well, and actually, to be fair, this is something that they didn't choose to do in the show, just because you can't do it because you can see him. He pretended to be someone else for like the first six months that he fought for. He said his name was Arstan the Squire. And then finally right. he reveals himself as Baristan. They couldn't do that in the show because you'd see his face and know who he right. was. Uh -huh. um, so he hardly has a leg to stand on when it comes to pretending to be something you're not. So final thing on that is the whole, he lied to me. Like, why didn't he say it earlier? I don't know, why didn't Bill Clinton say he was having sex with Monica Lewis? Exactly because you don't want to say that! Mm -hmm. Right, because you... I think, she should, would... I think we should vote. Okay. Would you, no. would you exile him? Oh, that's a great point. Or Except... I'm going to ask for trial by combat. <laughs> <laughs> I will be your champion. Okay, all right, there you go. <laughs> and Anna will be his. <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> how either one of you would lose. Okay. When you knock him down, don't monologue. I, no monologue. <laughs> I won't even speak. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you guys are right. We were saying before, they, these two were saying before we got started, it was a James Bond move. It was a Dr. Evil move. Right. Finish him! Yeah. Finish him! I'll shoot him. I'll shoot him. He's not, and he's not going to admit it to... Oh, by the way, though, I just want to make a quick point. But he admitted he killed he, him. No, no, Oberyn did get his wish. Before the mountain died, mm -hmm. he did admit exactly yeah. what yeah. Oberyn wanted. Yeah. The only problem was he got the wish at the same exact moment that his head was exploding. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe those screams were screams of happiness that finally he had like, the solid yeah. in. <laughs> right, right, he was saying, told you! <laughs> <laughs> it's... It's going to be sad that he's not on the show anymore. He had some great scenes. Oh, uh, you know, uh, Jesus, you know how we use that scene when uh, Republicans are reacting and then we do the nuclear explosion? We should now do over and, like, <laughs> heads explode him. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I ever want to see that again. Jesus. No, and I, I watch all of these episodes the day after with someone on, on Skype. I'm, I might not be able to watch that again. That yeah. was pretty hard. I had to turn away. I actually did. I saw, like, the very beginning where he was, like, Gouging his eyes out, and then, then I looked away. Hurt. Yeah. So, did you any of you watch Deadwood? No. No. Oh, okay. So let me do two spoilers here. Okay. One, the Deadwood. Since you guys didn't watch it, I'll just keep it really, really generic. So, there's a fight in Deadwood at some point that was incredibly similar to this. And so, and so, well, I always think in a fight to the death. Watch out for your eyes. Okay, like that's oh, the first eyes got. I would be like, I'd be, I'd be fighting like this. You're not gonna get my eyes. You're not gonna get my eyes. Oh, oh shit! Oh, shit! I didn't see that go. Okay, when you've lost too many people in your inner circle, you're on a you're you're in a you're in a bad place, and you're going to a vicious circle. You must keep your inner circle. You must. Okay, so. Losing someone that valuable in your inner circle is a bad idea. I'm, I'm holding firm on it, and I will do trial by combat to prove it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, so uh, the wall people are screwed. Uh, and that's coming next week. We, the big mystery is, uh, are they going to Dr. Evil Tyrion? Like, mm, we shall kill you by leaving you on this island, <laughs> and there will be sharks with me your beams on their heads and Tyrion's like oh thanks God and he gets out of it because he's smart or if they're gonna come by and be like hey how you doing and you're done right well apparently they're gonna cut his head off yeah that's what they so say. that's so like is that the beginning of the next episode don't say anything uh, and so that's the biggest mystery yeah and then everything else almost pales by comparison I know and I'm yeah, actually what are they hoping gonna do for the next two shows right right I'm hoping that he's gonna find a way to get out of it Oh, that, someone's going to smuggle his ass out of there. I don't know. Maybe his brother's going to do it. We'll see. Maybe like the court jester will come back. Like, come with me right away. <laughs> <laughs> something. Something. I'm hoping. Wait, the court jester who's dead. 
That's you get right. crossbone. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but Cersei's reaction, like, of course, made me feel sick to my stomach. Oh, she's she such so a bad happy. person, and, and she Tywin, enjoyed every moment of it. Tywin was quick to yell that out. Like, yeah. you could have at least checked if Oberyn had a pulse or something. But yeah. no, well, he just declared yeah, that one was pretty clear. <laughs> but here's the thing, you like, could have reassembled it in a trial by combat. If both combatants are dead. Isn't that kind of a mistrial? Right? Yeah, yeah like, I guess he like, dies first. Again. <laughs> I mean, and who wants to fight the mountain next? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think Tyrion should have like ran and finished him off or something. But he probably wouldn't want to get yeah, within arm's reach. I think that if I was on the jury and I had to be honest, I'd be like, well, mountain might be dead, and we don't know. But if he is dead, it's pretty clear Oberyn died first. But, <laughs> but, it's, but it's still kind of a tie. I don't yeah, know. I We'd have to go at the rule book. Yeah, yeah. Let's, hope, let's hope that they have a rule book on trial by combat. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't, so I don't know if they have a rule book on trial by combat, but I do know that at Lexad.com they've got some amazing Game of Thrones t-shirts. We're demoing two of them. Got this white Stark pride one and uh, the Lannister shirt. Now we have to get a new one. See, that's Lex head's tricking me. Tyrion. Okay, <laughs> let's see. If they yeah. cut his head off in the beginning of yeah. next episode, <laughs> then I might have to do a uh, like a shirt change, wardrobe change, mm -hmm. in the middle of the show. Maybe they'll make oh, a yeah. shirt with, with a guy getting his eyes <laughs> popped out. Uh, but yeah, and if, you, if, you're, if you've got all the Game of Thrones t-shirts you want, they've got Breaking Bad, all, Walking Dead, all the big shows and everything like that, go down in the description, there's a link that'll take you directly to the site. Okay, one last thing. I just thought of something really funny. If they're having trouble figuring out the rule book, if they both died, yeah. and they have another trial, he could ask for trial by combat on that. <laughs> just keeps on going. Just keeps on going. It's a vicious cycle. He's like, oh, well, man. Uh, well, I've seen this movie before. All right, fuck it. Trial by combat. <laughs> so so an, appellate, an appeals trial by combat. Exactly. That's right. right. That's right. The writing was on the wall for the hound the minute he got, oh, it's a, just a flea bite. Right? And when he got bit, I was like, yeah, oh. Yeah, picking it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Oh, don't worry about it. Oh, I'm too much of a tough guy. Right. Mm. No fire. She, and then should have done the fire. You're like, ah, oh, yeah. that's it. So, and then the great irony of the hound's death is going to be that he was so afraid to die by fire that he died because he didn't put the fire on him. Mm. You see that's what I'm deep. saying? Yeah. It's deep. So, and now he's screwed in 18 different ways because even if he survives and they go into the ire, you think Lord Baelish is going to let the hound hang around? And he's going to be like, huh, hound, I got a moon roof with your name on it. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, but so. Like, Arya's reaction, by the way, was pretty funny. I love the, the actress who plays Arya. There's just something about yeah. that I, I find very funny. Um, she's ruined mentally. Like, you guys don't watch Walking Dead, but there's a character kind of like her that's been, like, too, like, she's got too much PTSD. Like, if she's laughing in front of the guards for her aunt that she died, I don't think she's going to lead much of a normal life after yeah. that. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> great analysis, John. Okay, nailed it. Uh, She's not gonna like settle down, you know. By the way, it was not a good week for the Clagor brothers. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah the, the Clagor family is in a bit of a hole Clagidian here, family. or whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not gonna get their shirt either. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> Although a hound shirt or a mountain shirt would be pretty badass. I would have yeah. thought a viper shirt would be badass until today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Two more episodes, and then we've got what? 30 weeks until the next season. Boo. That's going to be winter's coming. <laughs> Except for the right. Christmas special. So, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I almost believed it. Okay. Christmas special where everyone dies. <laughs> okay. So, what it, Santa bring us? Heads! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, two episodes left of our reviews as well. Uh, come back and find out who dies next. <laughs> because somebody's dying. It's Game of Thrones.